I'm Professor Mark Feldman and together with my colleague Professor Ravinda Maney, we started in the late 80s to try and understand a more molecular mechanisms of how rheumatoid arthritis worked and how it might be treated. The approach which was eventually successful was when we found that certain short-range messenger molecules that we call cytokines were augmented in the diseased tissue and uh, were thus responsible for this disease. These molecules are normally around to protect us from various diseases like infections, but if produced in too large amounts, help cause various diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis. My name is Professor Ravinder Maney. As you've heard from Mark Feldman, between 1986 and 1991, we had established the role for tumor necrosis factor a cytokine in rheumatoid arthritis. Tumor necrosis factor, or TNF for short, uh, was then blocked by an antibody that we had obtained for clinical trials. And this initial trial and the subsequent phase two and phase three trials that took place over the next few years showed remarkable efficacy and safety of this new treatment. Now what this treatment did was to not only cause alleviation of the patient's symptoms and signs, but actually blocked the biological process that leads to inflammation and joint damage. Well, the remarkable success of these trials encouraged other drug companies to develop uh, similar products. And currently there are three other anti-TNF blocking agents on the market. And more than a million patients worldwide have now been treated with these drugs, uh, and not only for rheumatoid arthritis, but for other diseases in which TNF plays an important part. Diseases like ankylosing spondylitis, psoriasis, and Crohn's disease. Well, it's been a particular pleasure to find out that the discoveries we made uh, can be built on and can lead to a whole range of new therapies for other diseases whereas our work was focused on blocking one of these mediators, TNF. It's now known that blocking other mediators, for example, interleukin-6, also has therapeutic benefit in a range of diseases. So from our initial groundbreaking work has started a whole new branch of medicine, anti-cytokine therapeutics.